I always use sticks in my work. I usually gather them somewhere nearby. In this case, the material came from the river right below the college. The city is mandated to cut the river banks on a three-year schedule, so we were the welcome recipients of the sticks this year. Uh, I chose this site up here near the Performance Art, Art Performing Arts Center and also with this beautiful intersection here. It means that lots of people are going to see the piece. It, the, the work ex extends into this little island up here close to the intersection so that it can an announce and advertise itself. And then like a caravan, it makes its way, these various elements make their way through this uh, little area between two si sidewalks here in front of the administration building. To me, it's very, I mean, there is this kind of playful, primitive aspect almost that, you know, brings me back to when I was a kid almost. And, you know, you go out in the, the woods and you build something. What, what is the inspiration to create these types of, uh, this, these types of sculptures for you? Well, I think that uh, a good sculpture is one that causes lots of personal associations in the viewer and stirs up things that a person already feels or can feel or has felt and oftentimes the connection with the woods with your childhood play or an indigenous tribe that you've seen or read about in a magazine or just a, a tree that you like or a walk that you took those are all good starting points for looking at this work uh, this work is not only a bird's nest but it's kind of a drawing um, I use lines with and, and um, employ them on the surface like you would use your pencil my initial phase of it is to put some sticks, big sticks in the ground to pull them around and shape them and then go and put a kind of a structural layer over that and then finally come back and put this aesthetic look or this drawn look on the surface. It's kind of a layering process. How long does this process take and how many people have uh, helped you construct this? Well, I'm, an, uh, on, I'm a three-week guy. I, all my works take three weeks from start to finish and in this case I've been lucky to have uh, a group of uh, four uh, independent study students in the art department here at the Colorado College helped me and it's, they've been great. They really are very uh, adept at what they do. So what is this, uh, I mean, is this similar to your other works? Uh, you mentioned you have a piece uh, up at Fiddler's Green as well as uh, in, in Wyoming. Uh, and you're, you're based in North Carolina, you said, right? Yeah, I travel and work. Uh, that's my, my life. I spend three weeks each month on the road building a work somewhere. I've worked in France this year and in Ireland and Los Angeles and Redding, California and other places around the country uh, working three weeks at a time and, and building a new piece. I always let the uh, site itself be deterministic about how it, what I should make there. I always think, what will I never get a chance to do again? If you'll notice the way that we've intertwined with these trees back here, it's really a unique opportunity to use these big forks and uh, to try to build something that would be really interesting and captivating and get the imagination stirring of all the people that come within range of what we're doing here. How long have you been doing these types of uh, these, these kind of fanciful stick uh, sculptures? Uh, how, how long, in their current form, how long have you been doing this? I've been working about 25 years and I've made about 200 really large pieces in, there, in Europe, Asia, uh, the United States primarily, but I get to work lots in other, other places as well. And how did you strike upon this uh, medium to, to express uh, what it is that you need to express as an artist? Well, one of my tricks has been to partner with organizations and use the leverage and their uh, goodwill in a community to get going. So that, that's one part of it. Uh, and then sticks are, are a product of urbanization of suburbia because the bulldozers cut down the forest and then the sticks come up and then the next wave is to wipe the sticks out and put a shopping center there. So I was been standing there all the time waiting for all those sticks to come to me, uh, reuse of them and, uh, and you know capitalizing on a material that's easy to get. So that was uh, one of the inspirations and then as you have conversations with your public and you realize uh, some of the deeper reasons you might use them and that is uh, we all played with sticks as a child and it wasn't so unusual because we were kind of re-recreating our architectural phase of almost of humankind and um, sticks are the first building material of mankind and so we all know something about them we all have a bit of reciprocity with the materials and I've uh, spent a lifetime of exploring uh, some of the things you could do with that and responding to various sites inside and out building lots of interesting things